Boat fishing. That was fun. All right, guys. All right, guys. Papa Pepper back again. I am here with some untamed youth. And this is where I teach my children to head out into the wild and do some pretty incredible things. They're out here tonight. What's your job? To put the fish in the bucket. His job is to put the fish in the bucket. We're gonna to talk to a couple of our shooters and then we're gonna get in this water and hope things are going well. So what are you doing tonight? Bow fishing. And what are you shooting? Suckers. Suckers, why do we shoot suckers? Because we can, they're clean, because they have bending scales, and we can get a year's supply off a lot of them. And what about you? Uh, I'm gonna be shooting suckers tonight with Red Pepper and Papa, and um, we'll see how they're doing, because we've came here for, we've came here a few times this year, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. And this is where they all come up out of the water, out of the deep lake. They come into the shallow stream. They're up here to spawn. So we're gonna see what we can do. You ready, kids? Yes, yes sir! Toss them ashore, huh? We toss them ashore, he puts them in the bucket. Yeah. Do it up, son. There they are. Hard at work.
Show me that one. Get it up. Oh, it flipped off. That's okay. Pick one and go. Oh. Get it, shove it down. There you go. Get up. That air. You got this. Oh, pink. That was like a no move. Grab it for her. There they are. Right there and right there. Oh, get it up, Pink. Get it up! Get to shore! Second shot! There they are, see them? Here goes one coming up. Look at him, he's right there, coming towards you. Oh, right in front of you. Yeah, get it up. Whoa, what? Behind the back? Child, you need help. <laughs> what kind of? I don't know, I'm going to off the bank. Oh, here, grab the fish. Yeah, you got it. Wow, Totter. Hey, nice job, baby. You get sure? Good girl. You're up, okay? Please. Reload quickly. Get him up. Shove it down. Oh. Whoa. Get it to shore. See that? Look at them all. Stick them. Pull them up. Pull them up. Nice. Keep. Right through, daughter. Right through. Good girl. See that stick one? Get him up. Oh, he's almost off. Whoa! He got himself to shore. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa, wait. No. Here. Hold that. Hold that up for me. So part of trying to be a faithful steward of the area in which we live is being as close as we are to the lake. We try to read the lake. We try to get in tune with it, know what's going on down there. What big fish are we waiting for to start spawning in the shallows right now? Carp. Yep. The carp. So right now, suckers are going. Um, I want to teach these children just a different way to do it. You can catch them hook and line. Back where I'm from, uh, my native Wisconsin, you can catch them by hand sometimes, some of the rough fish. Here, bow fishing is one thing that we do. 
So when you're little, we give them jobs that are uh, appropriate for you. Yeah. Right? Is it a good idea for you to run around with a big sharp arrow on the end of a bow right now in the middle of the night in the dark in the water? No. No. So what do we have you do? Put a fish in a bucket. We grab them, toss them on shore. This guy grabs them, stacks them up, fills buckets. And what are you guys able to do now that you're getting a little older? Shoot the fish. Shoot the fish. So um, hard to capture it all on film. Uh, the big pile that you saw, that was multiple shooters. It wasn't just my two girls. Uh, I was shooting some of those. We had a couple friends go out with us too. Just the footage that I was showing of the actual harvesting was, you know, the girls. And um, another thing is, we also had some footage from multiple nights just to try to put together some good shots. Um, you can see they're in shallow water, so we're not using that power full of bows. We want them to be able to pull them back and uh, just try and do it safely and teach these children how to kind of enjoy the wild, you know, hence untamed youth. You know, being out there to be out there in the wild and figure things out. This guy all the time, he's asking me about wild edibles. Dad, is this chickweed? Can I eat it? Dad, is this purple dead nettle? Can I eat it? Dad, is this creeping Charlie? Can I eat it? And he's got to get a verification. You know, we found morel mushrooms. Some mushrooms will kill you. Some are edible. You know, it's part of just being able to live in this creation, the natural environment in which we were involved or created to live in. So it's part of what I'm trying to teach and train these guys. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you got any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, we got some suckers pickling right now. We got some canned right now. We've ate some, uh, you know, just cooked. Got some plans for the future, so hopefully we'll have some videos out and some of that stuff for you guys too. Bug out! Thank you for watching! And the last one. Thumbs up! Off. That's okay. You getting them, bug? Yeah. Boy, 